Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, it's been a long time since I have created uh, a long tutorial, so step by step with a short videos, not short, but a 10 or 15 minutes uh, videos. And now I think it's the time to create another one because I had uh, some comments about a tutorial I have created with Laravel and Vue.js separated uh, projects so how we can make an authentication and of course how we can make a CRUD with the Vue as a front end and uh, Laravel as a back end only for the API not with inertia which uh, some people prefer that or some people prefer to use inertia with uh, Laravel which is a layer between the Laravel and Vue.js and for that we're going to use uh, Laravel 2 packages we have on the Laravel documentation which is the Fortify and of course the Sanctum now people uh, yeah let's see when should I use Fortify so here we have Laravel Fortify and Laravel Sanctum. Some developers become confused regarding the difference between Laravel Sanctum and Laravel Fortify because the two packages solve two different but related problems. Laravel Fortify and Sanctum are not uh, competing packages. Laravel Sanctum is only concerned with managing the API tokens and authenticating existing users using the session cookies or tokens and we are going to use the session cookies in our uh, tutorial sanctum does not provide any routes that handle the user registration password resets etc so if you are attempting to manually build the authentication layer for an application that offers an api or serves as the backend for a single page application it is entirely possible that you will utilize both Laravel Fortify for user registration, password reset, etc. and Laravel Sanctum for API token management and session authentication. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to use both the Laravel Fortify for the user registration, password reset, etc. When we install the Fortify, it's going to create the actions and routes for us and Laravel Sanctum for the API token management or session authentication so we are going to use it with session and I have installed BAN I'm going to use BAN to create a Vue.js project but just in case VS Code as a code editor and that is what we are going to build and that's it all about uh, this video if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much friends